Edge computing has the capacity to disrupt a whole host of different industries, including financial services. In particular, retail banks can benefit from edge computing, for example, to help with improving customer service, reducing costs and ensuring compliance. So we're going to explore five different use cases in this video. So the first way that edge computing can benefit the financial services industry is to offer hyper personalization when it comes to customer engagement. So customer engagement by banks has historically been quite inefficient and it's usually limited to static advertisements in retail banks and these tend not to be tailored by the types of customers viewing the adverts. Now, banks can look to leverage the flexibility of cloud and the benefits of local compute to run more real-time applications to better engage their customers. So edge computing can do this by providing more personalised customer engagement right down to the individual. For example, HSBC has deployed SoftBank's Pepper robot in some US branches, and Pepper uses natural language processing to interpret customer information requests. This requires re real-time ultra-low latency analysis of very large data quantities, which Edge can help provide. The next one is around analytics for real-time cybersecurity. So running AI analytics at the Edge can help banks to detect and prevent fraud more proactively. Usually, this occurs after fraudulent activity has taken place, but with real-time analytics, this can catch perpetrators in the act and save money for banks instead of having to revert to compensation, which can be quite costly. So edge computing can deliver very low latency analytics while guaranteeing data sovereignty and security, which is crucial within such a regulated industry. The third use case is real-time facial recognition for fraud detection and prevention. So edge computing can also help to protect customers against issues that can happen during in-person transactions and not just online. So for example, you could augment ATMs, uh, CCTV, by adding facial recognition software that can detect potential fraud and send alerts in real time. And banks could also use an on-premise edge solution for this to filter data for data security purposes. The fourth use case is around high frequency algorithmic trading. So high frequency trading often uses servers that are in the same building as the exchange floor to minimize the latency between trades. Although having servers within relevant exchanges can help with low latency, a lot of the time, these high frequency trading requires communication with other exchanges to take advantage of the disparities in price between um, assets from the same exchanges. Edge computing can add value by reducing this last mile latency by processing the data locally and allowing for faster data distribution. This is especially useful for HFT firms trading currency because this is a completely decentralized compared to something like equities. And sharing information at high speeds is a key benefit that edge computing can bring to these scenarios. The last use case is around data sovereignty for compliance. So financial services is one of the most highly regulated industries and this has only increased in recent years. So banks have a lot of sensitive information on customers. So while cloud computing allows opportunities for large scale analysis of data sets, it also means sensitive data has to travel across borders. And this makes it very open to potential breaches. And also sending large amounts of data can also increase backhaul costs for banks. But edge computing can help to solve both of these issues. So it can enable processing of sensitive data within national borders, and it can also reduce the amount of data that's sent to the cloud.